Hi everyone, it is Lisa and I am here with your weekly oracle card reading for the week of August the 19th. Are we at the 18th? Yes, August the 19th through to Sunday, August the 26th. This week I've been guided to a really special deck for our reading. It's the Ask an Angel deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. Uh, we will also have our crystal card from um, his crystal oracle deck, as well as our power animal card from Dr. Stephen Farmer's deck. All cards have been saged and aligned to the highest universal energy possible, and I have asked uh, my guides and angels to allow me to bring readings that will serve the greatest and highest good for all who visit this page and are fans of my Wisdom of the Heart Facebook page. So. Here's our card for Monday and Tuesday. There's Wednesday and Thursday. And in through to next weekend. There we go. And there's our card for the weekend. Okay, and our crystal card. It's right here. And then our power animal card. And there we go. Okay, so for Monday and Tuesday, Archangel Michael. And it says protection. And what he is saying to me right now is he sees and he knows that a lot of you, um, myself included, have been on an emotional roller coaster ride for the last while. We're trying to um, get used to uh, the new energies that we're dealing with. We have um, issues going on in relationships. Lots of relationships are dissolving. Some are being born anew. And he's asking you to call on him. Look at the way he's got his um, wings and his arms around the lady in the picture. And he's pointing to this golden star here. Or actually, it's a flame above um, a star. And what he's saying is call on him and ask him to surround you in a cocoon of golden light. Okay, and before you ask him to do that, he wants you to ask him to help you cut any etheric cords of attachment that are no longer serving your greatest and highest good. Um, and you can do this as many times throughout the day as you need to. He's very close to us right now, and he is really, he wants you to know he can be everywhere. Um, there is no time and space dimension when it comes to the angelic realm, so he can be... Um, administering to all of us uh, simultaneously so don't ever doubt that when you call upon him he is there with you uh, he would also like me to say to you that at all times particularly uh, challenging times you are loved guided safe and protected okay Wednesday and Thursday Archangel Haniel beauty Okay, and what I'm hearing right now is this beauty, this beauty is you. You are beautiful and you are a divine and most worthy child of God in the universe. And as such, anything that you can dream is possible for you. It's really important right now that we all believe in ourselves and believe in the validity of our dreams. They are real and they're possible. If um, if your dreams, if your heart is calling you to a higher purpose, if your heart is calling you to step out in a new direction, please follow that guidance. It will lead to the most beautiful unfolding and it will be that unfolding of your soul, that opening of your soul so that at all times you're expressing yourself lovingly and passionately from your heart. Um, they are pointing out to me um, the star in the space of the third eye, um, asking that you pay attention to your dreams. And they're not just saying your dreams of nighttime, it's those daydreams that you have too. What is it that you're daydreaming about? What is it that you would really like to do? 
go for it because as you do you are going to blossom and bloom into the most beautiful beautiful expression of yourself that you can possibly be and it will exceed your wildest imaginations and they're also pointing me here to these hearts there's like a rainbow of heart not a rainbow but a an arc of hearts going up to the head or we could say that it's leading to the heart and what they want me to say is really lead with your heart at all times lead with your heart because your heart knows the way and it is all we we are all gonna be okay they keep saying because so many people are like oh my gosh what is going on you're going to be okay and you're not the only one lots and lots of people are experiencing the same stuff that you are and lots and lots of people are beginning to heed the advice that they're getting or the guidance that they're getting right now um, my beautiful friends it is all about taking care of number one self-love self-care and honoring your heart come first and foremost and that in turn will indeed lead you to the life of your dreams hmm. <laughs> okay Amatil. And it says, hope, hold on, pain ends, okay? Hold on, pain ends, or helping other people every day. Hope, hope is what inspires us to keep going on, right? So we are being asked to be hopeful, faith, faith is what they're saying. Um, and lots of us, it's about taking a leap of blind faith. We're not sure where this path is going to take us, and yet we know it is the path we are meant to walk. Um, and doing that, uh, and, and not knowing is a good thing, right? Not knowing is a good thing, because oftentimes even what we think that we wanted, when we get it, it's like mm, kind of lacking, and we're on to the next thing. So they really are just uh, saying to me over and over, hold on, pain ends okay uh, for hope hold on pain ends um, so what a beautiful beautiful message that is and again this lady you can see she's got angel wings she's got flowers blooming all over her um, she's got some leaves on her and I just see like waves so they're, they're saying too this is an important time for us all to sort of ride out the waves of our, emo of our emotions cry if need be um, and ride it out it's going to be okay you are going to be okay and you're going to come out um, stronger than ever before and just radiating more brilliantly than ever before so please bright lights please hold on pain ends our crystal of the week oh snowflake obsidian I just got a bunch of obsidian this week um, so an incredibly protective stone I'm just going to uh, check in the guidebook here because I was remiss I think in getting some of my stuff up last week um, but snowflake obsidian empowerment awesome protection ideas and talents okay so they're taking me back to that beauty card and saying your ideas and talents bring beauty into the world you indeed have some wonderful gifts and you're indeed being called to bring those forth now and it says in the book you have so many wonderful inspirations ideas and talents that to date you have kept hidden protecting and nurturing them within the fertile and loving landscape of your heart and your imagination, those daydreams. And rightly so, for the last few years have been like an incubation period, a time in which you have subconsciously been co uh, collecting creative fuel to be used at a later date. Well, that time has now come. You will soon begin to express and empower your ideas and inspirations as you discover practical applications for them in the physical world. It is time for you to shine, so don't hold back any longer. So as I love to say, shine on bright light, shine on. It's almost like rock on. All right. <laughs> oh, our animal of the week, <laughs> the coyote, the wise fool. And what it says on this card is accept your follies, find, in them, uh, find the teaching in them. 
I'm loving this card and I'm loving the messages that um, are being, being brought forth this week. Again, they're going back to that beauty card and they're going back to the hope card as well and saying that this is a time of complete and total self-acceptance warts and all okay the dark and the light um and again everyone i am right there with you and you know um there seems to be a um a notion out there that because somebody's a light worker or whatever they may be that person's got it all together and and their life is just you know perfect and they're living in a garden of eden well, I'm here to tell you that um, although we are spiritual beings, we are all indeed having a human experience. And it is our human experience that trips us up from time to time. And then we get stuck in the illusion of fear and judgment and the, the fear of judgments and opinions of others. And, and then, um, trust me friends, if we ourselves are partaking in judging of others or have strong opinions of others, we judge ourselves more harshly so coyote has come to us this week to really ask us to accept the good and bad of us and see them both for what they are and they're necessary and they're needed and they help to bring things into balance and alignment um, so really um, I will type up the message of the coyote um, and put it on my page probably tomorrow Let's be realistic. <laughs> I'm enjoying the weekend with my family. Um, so yeah, I will put that up on the page tomorrow. I'm not going to read it. It's quite extensive. So um, thank you all so much for being here and allowing me to uh, share with all of you the wisdom of my divine heart. Uh, this week I have been guided to offer a special uh, when you purchase a divine light healing you will receive in turn a Magdalene five card intuitive um, reading with channeled messages um, so that's a great deal because the Magdalene readings are a $65 um, a value so and on top of that I have also been guided to offer chakra balancing and clearings this week because there's a lot of heavy stuff going on so lots of um, people are experiencing um, you know dysfunction within that chakra sy system which truly folks manifests as physical pain often time and emotional turmoil um, so those are on sale this week for fifty dollars actually those are on sale until the end of August for fifty dollars so I look forward to being of service to you and yours thank you so much for allowing me to share thank you for being here and um, until we see each other next week I'm sending you lots of love light and gratitude from the very bottom of my overflowing heart to yours. Take good care. Namaste.